Hello and welcome to the debut of the Elijah Lounge. I'm Bradley. And I'm Philippa. We've just been back from the Christmas market. Let's see how we got on. So there was a clip of you there learning how to use a longbow. Well, I tried, but it was too hard, as you'll see in this clip. Would you learn how to try this? Yeah. What's the best? You um, see, it is quite hard to draw back. Yeah. These longbows come in all different strengths for, for uh, archers who have more or less strength or for different purposes. If you want to shoot at the target only 10, 15 yards away, you don't need a heavy bow. On the other hand, if you are specializing in distance shooting and you want to shoot an arrow more than 250 yards, you will need a very heavy bow. So do you think you'll take up archery then? No, I don't think I fancy archery, but I think I might take up making money. I really didn't know they made it that way a couple of hundred years ago. Me neither. Shall we take a look? Let's. Big free in the box, free of silver, free tomorrow. <laughs> That's how the coins were made. That would solve the credit crunch one, sir. <laughs> you should take that to Gordon Brown, Philippa. <laughs> so the atmosphere at the Christmas market was fantastic. We met a man called Dante there and he, we listened to some of his music. That was Dancy, and I spotted that he was wearing a Blue Peter badge. He told me how he'd got it. Well, it was about four years ago, uh, they were doing a programme from Hever Castle in Kent, which was the home of Anne Boleyn, and the whole programme was based around Henry VIII's love of Anne Boleyn. And they rang me up and said, please bring some instruments down and play them and talk about them, much as I'm doing today, and um, uh, they, it'll go out live on air, and which is what I did, and I got a Blue Peter badge. And I've been waiting over 35 years for one of these. So he's been waiting 35 years to wear that Blue Peter badge. I guess he's wearing it with pride now. Absolutely, and so he should. Even though it was freezing cold down at the Christmas market, there was people dressed up for the beach, wasn't there? Yes, and I got a chance to interview them. We've actually got, we've got these all-in-one bathing suits. We're totally padded out. I mean, we've got yep. so much padding all the way up and down. It's it took ages. Warm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it'd be nice to actually do it when we're not cold. <laughs> so thank you for that interview. And remember, next time if you're doing it in the summer, wear your sun cream. I will remember my sun cream. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there. But it was good acting. Street acting at its best. So thank you for sharing the Lincoln Christmas market with us. That's all we have for 2008. But have a very Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year. Thank you for watching the Liger Lounge.